Hey everybody, Michael the Librarian of Magic here, back again, uh, finding and cataloging the magical and pointing you to it. Have another Disney villain drawing for you today on uh, October the 20th, and the same disclaimers about my drawings as always apply, and if you want to find some of my other videos, you can find links at the end of this video. And without any further ado, I will jump straight into the drawing for today. Today's drawing is Syndrome from Pixar's The Incredibles. And it came out pretty well. It's not my favorite drawing that I've done so far, but I uh, don't dislike it. And I hope if you are a Syndrome fan or an Incredibles fan, I hope you like it. Um, some information about Syndrome. His uh, civilian name is Buddy Pine. And his sort of background or origin stories, if you don't remember the Incredible, the first Incredibles that well, or if you haven't seen it, uh, he basically, as a young person, idolized Mr. Incredible, the main hero, the main uh, superhero of the Incredibles family, and he tried to offer um, Mr. Incredible to become a superhero with him and join him as like a sidekick to be like Incredible Boy, and. Um, because he was obsessed with superheroes, and Mr. Incredible rejected his offer, so he went crazy. And his evil goal is that he wants to capture Mr. Incredible and his family, the rest of the Incredibles, to rid the world of any true superheroes and then use his technology. He became like a brainiac, like a technological genius in his life as he grew up. And he wants to use his technology to make it impossible for anybody else to be a superhero, to sort of negate anybody's superpowers so that nobody is unique. Um, he also kind of, like, wants to project himself as, like, the only superhero. But anyway, he's a pretty evil dude. He's gone fully crazy. Uh, he originally was not supposed to be, apparently, the main villain in The Incredibles. They were going to have... A uh, character called Zarek be the main bad guy, and it was he was essentially going to do the same stuff that Syndrome does in the movie. And Zarek would be the boss of Mirage, and he would call all these uh, retired superheroes to try to get them to battle the Omnidroids. And it would be it was very similar to Syndrome's plan in the movie, but during early production meeting, Syndrome was a minor character in all of that, sort of like at the beginning and the end, sort of kind of like when they do um, the Underminer and those characters, but he was so well-liked, Syndrome was so well-liked, that director Brad Bird decided to scrap the Zarek idea and make Syndrome the main bad guy, and they just sort of kept the script, for the most part, the same, and um, made it Syndrome instead. Syndrome is voiced by Jason Lee, who is fairly well known, um, depending on what sorts of movies you like to watch. He got his big break playing uh, a, a, one of the starring roles in Kevin Smith's Mall Rats, um, which is sort of a, a um, sophomoric comedy. And um, he was in a f several more Kevin Smith movies like Dogma and some of those. He also, for a long time, was in the TV show My Name is Earl. He played Earl, and a lot of people may know him from that. That was pretty popular for a few years back in the early 2000s, early mid 2000s. And um, he's he's shown up in several movies here and there. He's pretty recognizable. But he actually ha started his career before he was ever in the movies. He was a professional skateboarder. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and he's a great uh, voice for voicing characters. So he's done a few of those as well. So Jason Lee does the voice of Syndrome. Uh, they originally tried to tap Joaquin Phoenix to do the voice of Syndrome, and he either didn't want to do it or wasn't available or something like that. I don't know the whole story. So they weren't able to get him, but that's who they originally wanted. So lucky for Jason Lee, they went with him, and I think he did a really good job as the voice of Syndrome. In fact, in some ways, I think he does a better voice because he sort of makes um, just the nature of Jason Lee's voice matched with this character model makes the character seem more like whiny or petulant or stuff like that like immature he gives him more of an immature vibe so i like that about it i think he did a really good job also an interesting piece of trivia that you may not know is this is one of the few disney characters either with pixar or in 
other just animated Disney movies. One of the few, Jason Lee is one of the few voice actors who voiced both the younger adolescent version of the character, because in this movie there's like flashbacks to the younger um, Buddy Pine or Syndrome and then the adult Syndrome. Jason Lee did both of those voices, the younger and the adult. And he is one of the few actors and char characters for that to ever be true. Another example of that is Turk in Tarzan. Um, I'm pretty sure that was Rosie O'Donnell. She did the voice for the younger and the older. So um, those are uh, the same um, voices, and that hasn't happened very often. Like in The Lion King, the younger voice in the in the animated movie, the younger voice was Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and the older voice was Matthew Broderick. So usually it ends up being two actors. But in this, in the case of Syndrome, same actor, which is kind of a cool, rare thing. Um, and then the other cool thing about um, that I that I wrote down about Syndrome that I thought was kind of a just a cool thing that happens in the movie that I like, and one of the reasons I chose him as the character is um, really my favorite character in. The Incredibles is Edna Mode, the like fashion designer, who is probably a lot of people's favorite in that movie too. But she's not a villain, and I wanted to do another Pixar character, and I wanted to do a nod to The Incredibles, so I picked Syndrome, and I like Syndrome okay. But anyway, one of the um, cool things in that is Edna Mode, when she's asked to design um, superhero outfits and costumes and stuff like that, she always has a no capes policy. No capes. She doesn't like designing capes. And um, that's kind of a foreshadowing thing because in the end of the movie, Syndrome is actually taken down because of his cape. He gets like sucked into a like airplane helicopter jet thing, and it's because of his cape. It gets it gets caught up in there. So there's kind of a foreshadowing with Edna's no capes policy and Syndrome's demise. So I always thought that was kind of um, a cool little thing they do in the movie. No capes. So that's Syndrome. And uh, if you're a fan, hopefully my drawing is um, cool enough for you or that you enjoyed it. And I'm really grateful that you are always watching these videos, whoever you are. And um, I really hope that they bring a nice spot of magic to your day and um, that you enjoyed learning something about Syndrome and all the other characters that I've talked about so far. And uh, that these drawings are enjoyable enough, even though, you know, I'm an amateur and I'm practicing, but hopefully... That's also kind of one of the cool things. Or maybe you're trying these for yourself. I hope that some of you uh, maybe get inspired to pick up the pencil as well or just, um, you know, enjoy the characters, maybe watch some of the movies or whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching as always. I will be back again tomorrow with another one of these and we'll keep going. We're getting close. I, I think almost uh, two thirds of the way there. Well, we will be two thirds of the way there now on the 20th. So, yep, we're coming down the home stretch now and we'll see where we go from here. Thanks. Bye-bye.